Well, unfortunately, the day has come. We have another Carnival cruise ship that is off to the scrapyard. What is going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. If you're new to the channel, you like cruise news, cruise vlogs, and ship tours, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. We do have the Independence of the Seas cruise vlog starting tomorrow. Anyways, let's get into today's video. So, of course, as many of us know, throughout the year of 2020 and even in 2021, we have a lot of news about cruise ships getting scrapped. Mainly, or most notably, seems like about half of the Carnival's Fantasy class ships have been scrapped to this point. Of course, we have the Fantasy, the Inspiration, and Imagination have all made it to the scrapyard in Alang. Fantasy is pretty much no longer existent to this point. Same thing with Inspiration. I believe Imagination is being worked on right now. But now we have another ship that is being added to the list of scrapped Carnival Fantasy class ships. Now, of course, in that group of three ships that are part of the scrap that we were just talking about a second ago, Carnival Fascination was part of the sale of those Fantasy class ships. Fortunately for her, she did last a little longer as she was actually sold off to a Chinese or Chinese river cruise company, but unfortunately they have not really been too successful or didn't really have much luck as now she has been sold off. Fascination is off to the scrapyard and is pretty much arrived. She's been waiting off for a long time, just waiting for a spot to open up, but she has finally arrived. To go along with everything with those scrapped cruise ships, we did have news just last week or just the other day that Carnival Sensation and Ecstasy will be leaving the fleet as well. Unfortunately, we have another two Fantasy class ships out of the eight are heading out. And so with that, we only have two Fantasy class ships that are remaining in the Carnival Cruise Line fleet and possibly just in general as some of these ships, pretty much all of these ships really, have made their way to the scrapyard now at this point. For Carnival Ecstasy, at this moment, we don't have a buyer or a known buyer for the ship at the moment. It is still an undisclosed buyer who bought the ship. But today of Wednesday, February 16th, it was confirmed that Carnival Sensation has been sold for scrap. So unfortunately, Sensation is being scrapped as well, along with many of her sisters. And now it seems like Elation and Paradise will be the only two that remain. I do think that Elation and Paradise are in the clear. I don't think they're going to be sold anytime soon, as Paradise just got her big refurbishment recently, and she got the blue hull paint and everything like that. Got all freshened up and ready to go. I think she is supposed to be starting services out of Tampa pretty soon. I believe this month, if not April at the latest. And then, of course, Elation right now is in service for Carnival Cruise Line. Uh, we will talk about her future with the company in just a little bit and actually in a separate video that will be coming out today as well. So lots of content coming out right now. But Elation is being serviced out of Port Canaveral right now, doing four and five night cruises out of Terminal 5 there. And then I believe she is on the schedule to be redone and have that nice blue hull paint added on. This sometime this year in 2022. So it looks like the future of those two ships are secured and do look good as far as being in the Carnival Cruise Line fleet. But unfortunately, we did have two more subtracted, Ecstasy and the Sensation. Unfortunately, Sensation is off to the scrapyard and we have an unknown future at the moment. As of today or as of the day we recorded this, we have undisclosed buyer for Carnival Ecstasy it could be very well that she has also been sold for scrap. Just at the time of recording this, we don't know who officially purchased the ship yet. So that is all for today's video. You know, I know it's kind of the never too exciting hearing about scrapped cruise ships. It's never a fun topic. But of course, we want to keep you guys up to date with the latest of cruise news as well. Anyways, what are your thoughts on these sold cruise ships down below? Have you ever sailed on any of these? I sailed on the Imagination back, oh, I don't even know, maybe 20, 2008, 2007, 2008, I believe. 
Um, I, the one thing I will always remember from that cruise is that we stopped in Half Moon Key and we did a sandcastle building contest. My sister and I were very young at the time, uh, probably, you know, six, my sister was about six or seven. I was about 11 or 12 years old. And we did like a sandcastle building contest and we actually won that contest, which is really cool. And I even have the little ship on a stick to prove it. I like to, yeah, just kind of show that we won that contest. So that was really cool and really cool that I still have that little thing. And of course, I did also sail on Sensation twice throughout her lifetime, both times out of Port Canaveral on the three days or the three and four day cruise that she used to do for a very long time out of Port Canaveral. Again, let me know down in the comments if you have any memories on any of these fantasy class ships. I, these ships serve the Carnival Cruise Line fleet so well over the past 30 plus years. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll have an update on the Carnival Cruise Line fleet coming out very shortly as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all of the latest of cruise news and the cruise vlogs from Independence of the Seas. And Mardi Gras is actually coming up soon next month as well. So lots and lots of content here for you in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.